Yeah, I cut the video um, resolution down so that I can do a longer video. And uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with this. I think this is what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the. I guess I'll just I'll just have it um, start the video at this point. And the and uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into this. What I need to do. So I know it's an alpha under, but then I need to delete that strip. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. I'm going to do some transformations on this guy. And so he's already got a transformation in him. And I need to move the video. I not only need to transform it, but I need to move it. So let me move the, we'll, we'll cut it down to 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.3 on this. And then actually it needs to be the main, uh, the main show. So it just stays at 0.6, and uh, let's try to scale it down. Uh, actually, it's at the right scale, it's fine. And um, then we will, do I scale it up or just go down? Let's scale it down just a little bit. So I'll, I'll go point, point 0.9 and um, 0.6 would have gone to, it would be 9 times 6, 27, 48, um, it would be point, it would be about 0.5. And so that's nice for this screen. And then I could put it off on the side. So we'll move the position over there. And then I can stick myself and my video in, on the right. So I have to transform him down. Let's get out of here. Let's get into the other strip and go in here and we will do a transformation on him. So we add a trans effect, a transform. And then we, um, we'll scale him down by F. Point, um, it's gonna to have to go smaller than that. It's gonna to have to go to about 0.35, I'll try that. And then here, 0.35, actually, and then we'll move them off to the side. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll scale them up a little bit to show you what's going on. I've got my, this is so I can control my strips. And uh, so I can see on the screen here. So I'm gonna move the, the video down, put it here. Maybe we'll scale it up a little bit. So let's put it up to 0 0.6, 0 0.6 on the X, 0 0.6 on the Y. And I will move him up in position. So he's like, okay, I'll just, I'll do it full scale. I'm just moving him to the side is all I'm doing. I'm going to put myself front and center in the video. That, that's better. And then you can still see me, but I'm, I'm not going to be the, the, be the whole show, the Minecraft is going to be the whole show. So I, I move myself up and that's good enough. And then I go and I layer the other video up on top. So let's do this with an alpha under, effect strip, alpha under. And then this is going to do it, yeah. And uh, And so I actually need to make the um, other video. I need to affect its transform and, and bring it back to what it was, which was 1.0 with a 0 0.6. 0 0.6 on the X. 
now and I also need to brighten it. Uh, so I need to add something to the transform. I need to add a um, uh, need to add uh, camera cross. Oh, I think you can multiply the color of the strip. So let's go to the strip. That's the strip, I think. The, no, that's the audio. This is the strip. And then I can increase, I can multiply it and maybe two. Does that do it? Yeah, there you go. So that's nice and bright. And you can see it. Is it overblown elsewhere in the video? Not that bad. Yeah, it is. It's crazily overblown. How about um, 1.3? Uh, it's not perfect, but 1.1. Let's take it back to where it was dark. It's a little hard to see. Uh, maybe I can adjust this over time. So let me, I'll find out where it is dark, where it is bright, and I'll adjust it. So. It is, it starts out here. So I'm going to set an, an, a frame. Yeah. Let's see, how do you set a frame? Let's, uh, uh, frame. Um, key. Set a keyframe. I think it's, um, isn't it um, B? Is it B or, I forgot what it was to set a keyframe. Um, I think it's I. I think it's, um, well, what you do, you go over here and then you say I. So I just set a keyframe on the multiply there. And then I go over here and I do an I there again, and then I go to where it is dark, and so let me move it. This is going to be very difficult to have to zoom in here and, and find out where it's it gets out of the nether because that's what's doing it. I'm in the nether, then I go back and I get in bed and it turns to daylight. And so when I'm in bed, I set the multiply again. That's I key, and then I it's up and I set to the multiply to. Um, 1.0 again, and then I do an I. Then I can go to the, let's see, let me go to the motion keys, motion, motion keys, split area, um, add, do the motion graph editor. And uh, if I multiply, say all, say view all, all, and there it is. It's uh, I need to go to this. I want to set this value to uh, the value to be set to two. So, for 
seven oh then one point one and then we'll see if it goes up here. So I want to go down there and set it to two point oh. And that should fix it. Go back to the view. Whoops. Yeah, give me the secret signature. And I need to go to this view there. And uh, let's see what it's happening. There we go. Things going on. Uh, I'm, I lost my video. I don't know what happened to it. And this is bad. What happened to my one of these is not. Oh, there's an undo. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Or, or it's Control Z. Hmm. What I'll do is I'll. Uh, No, they have turned and come back to the secret service if that changes the thing. <sighs> Refresh settings. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to reload this because. Uh, Something happened and I don't know what it did. Um, let me do control C, see if I can get back to something. Uh, oh, I know what to do. Um, user preferences and uh, uh, back to black. Or I think there's a um, there's a way to have it um, uh, reset the interface. Oh, um, duh. Um, what you can do is you can uh, change this. You can go uh, preview view full, and if we can go to video sequence editor from here. Uh, oops, that's not going to do that. See, this is the reason why I don't use it anymore. <laughs> All of you. Uh, Oh, there we go. Video sequence center. And we want it again. Oh, there we go. We got it back. Yeah. Okay. Um, now I need to get the, I need to split the screen again. Split. And I want to do motion. Oh, this is that's I want um, video sequence center turn. 
Where is the, uh, oh, there's crap here. What the heck is it doing down there? Um, oh, I, I probably need to move this, this window up. Uh, so click there and then flip the top. That'll fix it. And uh, I need to do a view all. I'm just a little bit disoriented with this. Um, anyhow, yeah, you can see how it's going to work. I'm going to have to go through and I'm going to have to set the multiply on the uh, video. Let's this video. Let's bring back that, uh, change the, the 3D view. And, uh, oh, what I need is the eye, the eye, which is the user info, info, no, not info. Uh, There. We'll go ahead and bring this guy up or down. Ha! Up, put that guy up. Bring this guy up. Zoom that guy in. And okay, so right about here. And I collect, and I select the tree. The transform strip, and I expand this thing out, and I am uh, position's fine, scale's fine. What I need to do is adjust the brightness of the clip, and that is set here. Multiply. Let's go ahead and set it. Uh, we'll set it a, a few frames down. We'll set it to. So I move it down a few frames. That's fine. It's nice and fine here. I set it multiply. Hit I. And then I move it down a little bit. Set that. I do this guy. I set him to I. Set this for and and then I jump him up. So I set him to I. Somewhere down here, I'm going to set him to 2.0. And then I'm going to set a keyframe on that. And I'll go down to where it goes, where it comes back. So we can lay down here somewhere. in this area. I'm looking back into my camera to make sure it's still recording. I, I've forgotten that I, I increased the, the time. So I've got you for a longer period of time. It's going up the ladder, going through. It's going to be out in the night time. He goes to bed and the next morning he wakes up. So he's in bed and I set that iframe there so that it's flat and it'll transition quickly whenever he gets out of bed to back to 1.0 so that it's not overblown. I set a keyframe there. 
And then I go to see if there's any chance in the future that I'm going to go back to the nether, which I probably will. I think there's several times where I do that. And there's a point where I get it gets dark. So I go here, somewhere around here. And then let's see if there's anything down here that's dark. I'm just going through cases, that's all. Then I start venturing off, and it's when I venture off that I that I'm probably going to have to increase the brightness. So I hit a keyframe, then I move a little bit to the, to the right, and then I increase it to let's do 1.5, and that's good enough for me. I set another keyframe, then I move up here somewhere. Probably going to need to go up a little more. Oops. I think what's, yeah, uh, is it going back down? No, it's not. It's um, just needs to go a bit higher. So set it for 2.0 here. And then I'll set another keyframe. And then it'll go down here. That's fine. It's going to be a little bit overblown. Okay, it's really overblown there. So I want to go back until it's not so overblown. Which is right about there. Okay. That's because I'm in the dark. And then I go down to, to the zombie chamber. And it go, it's overblown, so I need to take it back to 1.5 and then I set a keyframe there and then I go down a little further here I set another keyframe this time it's going to be 1.0 or actually 1.2 so I just have to do that through the, the entire thing I set a keyframe and uh, And it seems like 1.2 is the is what to use down here. So I'm going to go further up in the video and see if there's anything. It um, goes to daylight. And it's when I go to sand that it's a big problem. Here. And so it's nighttime. So I think what I'll do is I will set this to... 1.6, which is a little bit better than I. Then I go to a little bit further whenever I wake up. It, uh, oh, that's perfectly fine. It's a little overblown, but oh, it's really bad there. So here, I set the exposure to. Uh, So that and it's probably just going to go up and down. Even people probably won't even notice it happening because it won't it won't do it too quick. But uh, here it will definitely need to go down to one and or maybe down to point point just one, and then I'll set that a keyframe there. It would be nice if there was a program that would just automatically adjust the uh, brightness based on the, it would just do an auto normalization of the of the video. There probably is. I just don't know about it. So um, let's see. So I go into the Nether. So I set the keyframe here, and then in the Go to the nether frame. So right here, I need to set my my uh, multiply to one point six. That works. Maybe one point four. You 
probably can't see that. I know, but I'm just showing me, uh, showing, I'm just showing you me working in VR one eighty on this video that I'm going to publish soon. So I hit uh, I on that thing. It turns it yellow. It lets me know that the keyframe set. And uh, I just go through. And it's, it looks good. It's okay. Some dark areas, some bright areas. That's kind of crazy. So at this point, I'll probably have it go down to 1.1 and or maybe 1.2. That looks a little bit too dark. 1.2. Then I'll set the key frame for that. And then I'll just go down a little further. Works. It works. Oh, very dark. That's very dark. So I'm going to go up. And then I am, I guess, I'm going to zoom in and see how dark this is going. Where it's going to be really dark. That's really dark. Okay, so then what I'll do is increase this to be. Six and then set it another keyframe and then bring it up just a little bit and see if it's it's still pretty dark here, so I'll have to set that at two and then I'll frame that and then I'll bring them up a little bit. Moving away, I was fighting the monsters. And here I probably want to bring it back down to 1.5. And then I'll set a keep right there. And that's kind of dark. Let's bring it back up to two. Set a keep frame. And It's kind of bright, so we'll bring it back down to a 0.6. Print for that. And we're on the mine card. And it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Not so bad. And there's kind of that's kind of bad. So let's do a point. Three, so keyframe still watch me, yeah, and looks good. That was it, and then so now I can get out, and I still have my myself there, and I get off. I get up. Okay, good deal. So it's done. And that's the end of that video, and that guy stops at here. Let's see, does this whole thing start off the right spot? Zero is way down here. All I need to do now is I just need to, uh, I have to tab out again. And uh, I've got to transform. Oh, I have to tab out. I have to tab out again. Okay, and it is now, yeah. Okay. The alpha under is this, and that works. Okay, so now I can, I need to set my start point. And my start point is, I don't have to bring it back to zero. I can just tell it to start wherever I see fit. So I can click down here somewhere. And I'm going to go 
whole press is the main reason why my uh, Microsoft can be into the main scale search for the program. So you want to have a little press? That's good. So I'll just start here. This point, whatever this frame is, I'm going to tell it to view this not in seconds. I hate viewing in seconds. I like viewing by frame. So the frame is 31875. So I go to my start in my um, go to my render view thing here. Set the start frame for the range to uh, 31875. 31875 is where it starts and where it's going to end is at the end of my video feed, which is down here. And it's set to 150155. 150155. And it's set. That's all I have to do now. I can uh, go ahead and save the blend file. And then I can go ahead and render it out. But I see so yeah, I'll set the, the XFID. All this is set correctly, I think. Yeah. It's called hurt me. And I think it's already I, I set that video stuff up ahead of time. So all I need to do now is just hit animation and it'll start rendering it. And uh, it's going to take a long time. How? What's the estimation? Time estimation? I think it's got a time estimator in there. It'll tell you how long it's going to take. It's, it isn't fantastic. Let's see if it's synced. Okay, yeah, it's synced. I turned my head, turned it to side. Okay. It is proper releasing. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, you can see that. That's how I sync it up. And so, yeah, and there. And so you can see. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be well synced, and I'll just leave it that way. Um, if it needs the extra audio track, I do have an extra audio track. I'll just um, put that on the side.